How we doing, everybody? This is That R Nerd, back at it again with another R tutorial. Uh, this one's just gonna cover the, the basics of R Studio and the different functionalities that are found within it. If you haven't downloaded R Studio and you're thinking about using R, I would definitely download it. Uh, it just makes R a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, so, if you need to download that, I'll leave a link down in the description on where to go to go download that. Um, it's completely free. And uh, like I said, it makes it a lot better and a lot easier to use. So with that, I have our studio loaded here. And you can see it's kind of split up into four different boxes here. We have our first box, and this is uh, basically your script. You can write all your different code here and save it and open it up and run it again later. Uh, you have your console. This is exactly what R is. If you downloaded R and just opened it up, it would look exactly like this one square. So you don't lose any functionality here because um, you're still able to just type directly into the console if that's what you want. You have your environment, so you're able to see what variables you have saved, your different data sets, and what's inside of them, and, uh, and that way you know whether or not different things are saved. And down here, it shows all your files, plots, packages, helps, uh, all your different things. So I have just a quick little example here, and we'll go through and show kind of the different functionalities here. <clears throat> so we'll start with saying, uh, naming a variable here, and we'll call it x. And so this is our language for saying uh, into x, we're gonna input seven. We'll do the same for y, and we'll say into y, we're inputting three. And uh, to make these save, you have to, to run them in R. So you come up to this run button, and once you run it, now you can come over to your environment, and sure enough, we have x saved as seven run that second line of code there, and now we have y saved as three. If you come down to the console and you just press x, it's gonna show you, sure enough, x is uh, saved as seven, and y is saved as three, and so that's perfect. Uh, you can come up here, and if you want, you can clean or remove all these objects. And so now our environment's empty again. So if you were to call x and y, it would tell you that your object X is not found and Y is not found, obviously, because we have gotten rid of it from our environment. You can do different things with these uh, variables. One example I'll show is the plot function. And so if we wanted to plot X and Y, and you run that, actually we need to save that first. So another way you could uh, run these different things and save them is you could highlight multiple rows, um, and that's just gonna run it all together. Uh, so if we run those two lines, it's gonna show x is seven and y is three again. And so now we can actually use this plot function now. And uh, down here, it'll show a little plot. Uh, sometimes it kind of looks a little funny or stretched. I like to press the zoom button. Uh, it brings it out and puts it to scale. And also if you have a lot of different points, it can get a little cluttered. So this just enlarges it and uh, makes it easier to see. If within R you don't know what a function does, and you need a little help, uh, you can press the question mark and type in whatever function you want. Uh, so we'll do the plot, and it's gonna pull up your a help file over here. Uh, so this is the help file for plot, and it goes through a description of what it does, shows how you can use it, any of the different arguments that it takes in there. And my favorite part is down at the bottom, it shows actual examples. Um, so you can see how, how it would be used in a a typical way, I guess. Uh, the final thing I wanted to uh, show here was the packages. So if you want to load a package, uh, you first have to install it, uh, but then you can uh, say library and random forest. That's the package I'll uh, just use here. And if you run that code and you come to the packages screen, it's going to show that random forest now has a check mark by it where it didn't before. And so this means that now we can use any of the functions that are uh, located inside of this package here. Um, if you wanna get rid of it, you can press that button and it will detach it. And now you can't use any of those functions anymore. And if you don't wanna type in this whole library thing here, um, you can just click it and it will load that library for you. And again, now you're able to use those different functions. So that was a basic quick tutorial here. Um, I'm gonna go over more R basics, so if you're interested in learning more, make sure to press subscribe to see any uh, future videos that come out. And 
If you uh, learned anything from this video and enjoyed it, make sure to drop a RStudio directly onto that like button down there so that more people can find this video. Uh, thanks. Have a great day.